and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. In today's video, you guys keep asking for it, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do an office tour setup and YouTube gear tour. Um, a few years ago, I did a video which I geared more for educators, which talked about, I'll link it somewhere, um, I talked about kind of how I go about making the different types of educational videos that I make and you know and the gear that I was using at that time and I haven't really changed very much sort of the way I go about making the videos and the different types of videos but what has changed a lot is my gear and I'm here today to thank you for all of your love and your shares and your likes and your clicks because Penguin Prof Channel is having a birthday and we're coming up on 50,000 subscribers and I can't thank you enough for all of your support. And so to celebrate you, we are doing a giveaway. A giveaway! I have for a lucky winner some Beats Solo 2 wireless. These are Bluetooth headphones in the very fancy space gray and I'll be giving these away to a lucky viewer. If you want to win, stay tuned till the end. So first of all the space. This space I designed a few years ago. I built it as an addition and I built it as my office and recording studio. So in mind I had lighting, sound, you know, all of those things were kind of in the forefront. I also wanted to create a place that I just enjoy being in. Um, I'm not a minimalist in the sense that I don't like just bare walls and industrial feel, you know. I like to surround myself with things that bring me joy and make me feel inspired and creative. And so I have things on the walls that I have collected from my travels. Most of you know I've traveled all over the world. And, uh, and I switch stuff out, you know, so the stuff that you're seeing right now is not stuff that's up all the time. Um, I have a whole stash. I have taken lots of photos and I have lots of things. And so I, I switch those around, so I'm constantly inspired. Now, I do keep things off of my work surface. I want a clean workstation. I clean it up at the end of every day. I do like that uncluttered, you know, look. And then I kind of have, you know, things within arm's reach and then things that are in drawers a little bit farther away and then things that are in, you know, bins and things. Um, so I do kind of organize that way and I organize by gear type. As far as the gear goes, um, by the way, this is not a sponsored video and I will have all the details and model numbers and links down below. Um, first of all, just basics, things like tripods. I have a couple different types. I have a big tripod for my big camera. I have a monopod that I travel with and I have a little desktop tripod. And uh, you know, obviously those are all pretty straightforward. You do wanna make sure that you're not overloading your tripod. So make sure you look to see what the maximum weight is on the tripod that you are buying. All right, an indispensable tool in my gear bag is this guy. This is a Wacom bamboo tablet. This one is probably going on four or five years old. Still works great. It's a USB connection and you have a little pen and you draw and this is what allows me to draw on the screen. I will say that it does take a while to get used to this. Um, you know, human nature, you wanna be looking and drawing at what you're looking at and obviously that's not what this is. So it's kind of uncomfortable in that sense and I have just recently discovered something called AstroPad, and I'm using that for the first time. I'm gonna recommend that you check that out um, before you invest in a, in a tablet like this. If you have an iPad, AstroPad will allow you to write on the tablet and actually write over your screen, um, and it's a lot more natural, right, because you can look at what you're drawing, so check that out. All right, next we gotta talk about cameras. And uh, first of all, like I said, you know, I started with my FaceTime camera. I have filmed a lot of stuff with my iPhone. Um, these days, cameras, you know, on phones are just incredible. Um, if you're ready to upgrade and you want something that's fairly small but still very robust, I love this guy. This is a Sony RX100 Mark III. And a lot of YouTubers like this guy because he has a little flip up screen. So if you want to vlog, uh, this is awesome. So I have this on a monopod or a selfie stick or whatever, and I can film and uh, see myself, which is essential. Um, the quality on this is great. It films in 1080p resolution. It's really easy to use, and you have a lot of manual controls, actually, on this guy. The thing that it doesn't have is interchangeable lenses. Um, but I highly recommend this. I have used this for years, and this is still the camera that I travel with. Something else that I do a lot is I make unlisted videos for my online students, and I do virtual office hours uh, using Zoom. And for that, I use this guy. This is a Logitech 
webcam and it has amazingly good resolution it has 1080p resolution so videos with this are actually pretty good and it's a lot cheaper than uh, many other camera options so kind of depending on what sort of video you want to make uh, I would definitely check this out it's also got a built-in microphone which really isn't that bad recently I upgraded to my first DSLR and I went with the Canon 70D and I love this camera a lot of youtubers love it um, it's a great sort of mid-range DSLR. I got it for the autofocus. It's, it's phenomenal. Uh, so what this allows me to do is to set up the camera in my studio on a tripod some distance away and then I connect it to my computer with a USB cable and I'll film this somehow and show you guys what, I, what I'm actually seeing. So I can control the camera from my computer using the Canon software and it's excellent. So I can do all the adjustments uh, from here and I can see my audio levels because I have a microphone plugged into the camera and I absolutely love it I just couldn't be happier with this camera. I'm so glad I made this decision By the way, I have two lenses for this camera so far I have the kit lens that I got with the camera that's uh, 18 to 135 millimeters and the lens that I'm filming with right now, which I bought for this purpose for videos at home, the 50 millimeter lens, and it's gorgeous. I, I absolutely love this lens. And again, all the details will be below. Next, let's talk about audio. I'm a stickler for audio. Nothing ruins a video faster than bad audio. You never notice audio when it's great, but you always notice it when it sucks. Uh, the first external mic I ever got was this one, this little Samson Go mic. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Um, this is a USB microphone. It's fine. Uh, I still use it on the go. You can actually use it with mobile devices. This guy is pretty small and I needed a pop filter, so I cut up a stocking. I'm creative that way. This is one of my favorite microphones. This is the Blue Yeti and uh, it's outstanding. It has outstanding quality for a USB microphone. It's really tough to beat. Uh, I do have a foam head on this thing. It actually comes without one, just like this, um, but you're gonna want a pop filter, so you want something like this, something to cover the microphone because you generally use this uh, where it's fairly close to you. I also mount this on a boom stand. Um, this is just a fabulous, fabulous microphone. Now the microphone that I'm recording with right now is the Video Mic Pro by Rode. Rode makes some fabulous microphones and I really like this one. There's also the Video Mic Go, which is cheaper and does not have the features that I wanted. This one allows you to actually boost the sound level and it has a high pass filter. But you wanna check out all of the Rode microphones to see which one is right for you. Uh, my first Rode microphone was actually a lavalier microphone. I use this a lot. This is the Rode Smart Lav Plus. Now this one you can't use in a DSLR without an adapter. You can get an adapter. Uh, but I use this uh, a lot when I'm recording audio with my phone. They have a Rode Rec app and the quality of audio that you can get off of this thing is absolutely incredible. So I, I just love this lavalier mic. I also have some lav mics by Movo. I have a single and a double, single and a, no, single and a double. And uh, I got into this because I needed to be able to mic uh, someone else while I was interviewing. And what's cool about this is it has one plug, but it has two little lavalier mics. So uh, for you and a friend. In terms of the computer that I am using and the software that I use, I just upgraded and bought a brand new iMac a few months ago. And this is an this is gorgeous. It's a 5K, 27 inch display. Um, I just love it. It's got everything that I need. So for the filming itself, like I said, I'm using the Canon software and I'm just so happy with it. And then for most of my educational videos, I use ScreenFlow. There's a big debate between Camtasia and ScreenFlow. I have used them, I have them both. I use them both for different things. Um, since I'm a Mac user and ScreenFlow was designed for Mac, um, in fact, it exists only for Mac, I do find that it takes advantage of sort of the Unix base um, a lot more than Camtasia does. So Camtasia was originally PC and then they made a version for Mac and I just don't think the Mac version is as good as their PC version. Oh, that was long and complicated but I hope that explains uh, why I generally use ScreenFlow instead. As always, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for visiting the Penguin Prop channel. I really want to thank you for all of your support. 
If you want to win these headphones, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and uh, it'd be nice if you followed me as well on social media. And uh, in the comments, just let me know where you come from, where are you studying? I know most of you are students, or if you're a faculty member, where do you work? And um, I don't know, just say hi, because uh, this really is all about you. And I'm so excited that the Penguin Prof channel has been able to help so many people. Your comments really inspire me. So thank you for visiting the Penguin Prof channel. As always, thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.